What up, doe? Hope all is well. It is a fly right there, pissing me off. But hope all is well. It's your boy Lando Success with Top Sports Debate. I got some good plays for you guys. We are in week five of college football. We got some bangers. We have literally our top 25 teams. What I like on the spread. Who going to win? Can we get an upset? Can we get an over? And this fly is about to piss me off. But we're going to keep this thing popping. Make sure you guys hit the like button, the subscribe button as I kill this fly. Look at it. Got your ass. Sorry about that, people. Had to kill the fly. All right. <laughs> so, what you want to do? <laughs> so, what you want to do is hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. That help out the YouTube algorithm, and we are giving away. Uh, we giving away some free money. So, to qualify to get some free money. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. Hit the like button. I really killed the fly, though. That's the funny part. Hit the like button. And when you hit that like button, whatever number you guys are, let us know in the comments. And that will qualify you. So be subscribed. Hit the like button. Whatever number like you press, put it in the comments. So for the MLB video yesterday, this is a funny one. Like, listen to this. So... I go to random number generator, right? And I go to this and I just click it and I do it until I find somebody that got that number like, right? We had 105 likes. The first number was 103. And look at the comment. <laughs> 103, love you, Lando. By Corey3354. Corey, you won. I'm just saying, I'm not no conspiracy theorist, but. It was the Love You Lando that did it. So I ain't saying you got to say Love You Lando. I'm just saying him saying Love You Lando. And he ended up getting it. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know. Okay. All right. How we're going to do this today. We have to put our team on. That is our liar. 90% of these bets I use with Outlier. You guys don't have it. Try it out for a week free after that. It's $20 a month. I, it's funny because I, I was saying, this is something for me to do this for a living. I will pay up to $1,000 a month for this subscription. <laughs> like literally, because since I make so much money and, and do it, I'll spend up to $1,000. And it was funny because this version was like, Twenty dollars of a version was like seventy. I think it's like one. Let me see. Shit, we can look at it. I think it's like one something, but it really depends on what type of betting you're doing. So if you're somebody who do casual bets here and there, this is the plan you need. Nineteen dollars a month. This is the plan I was talking about. Hundred and thirty dollars a month. I think they listened to me. I was like, oh, we need to raise this. This is for people that get big money. I got videos breaking down the differences, but everything you need to know is always in a video so basically what i did for today games because you use outline most with college games when you don't have all the props or i mean you don't know all the teams and stuff right you set a perimeter right so say if we, say we want overs we want the odds to be they could be minus five hundo we just go 431 and we want our hit rate to be at 80% in the last five games so like you can literally do all of this so we want it over that and you apply it and you're looking at this last five games longest rush long as this so let's look at this longest rush right here Last 10 games, 100% rate. Beautiful play. And look at those odds. Who wouldn't take this? I'm just seeing this live. I'm like, damn, I should have had this as a unit play. But they play in um, Ohio State. So we will see how that going. You can literally break down and look at each play and 
find out what you like you can add it to the picks so to try it out for week free all you gotta do is type in outlier.bet slash lando or promo code lando shout out to them best sports betting research tool platform in the world so what i did today because we have a lot of people who who can't bet college props oh the flight and came back alive so if y'all see me pause just know i'm battling with this fly because what y'all can't see is i got a big light right here and since that's what happened my mom-in-law is here and they had the garage open and the fly came in and since I it's pitch dark in here and it's just bright light, fly gonna go right to the bright light. So it's easy to kill, but you know, so for the people that can't bat college props, here you go. Y'all wanted it last week. Y'all been batting back back and forth. This took me hours on top of hours. Right now, family, this is four in the morning Eastern Standard Time. I've been up. I am exhausted. I'm tired, but I cooked this up for y'all and did a video. I wasn't even gonna do a video, but definitely did a video so every and i is literally let me see if y'all can just see how my notes are so it's just literally each game and and i did top 25 so it's just literally me taking down notes and since i don't put too much respect on college football when i come down to just over and unders i don't bet crazy money on them because it's college kids i can't take them serious but for the people that want to know what's my picks here they go. First, we got Michigan, Minnesota, and Michigan. I like Michigan points over. I don't know if we have fully covered the spread. I can't trust us. We only covered the spread last week. So we're like one and three with covering. And, you know, we still got a new quarterback. Hopefully we blow them out, but we shall see. I like Michigan getting over 23 points. They basically did that over every game. And been going up higher. Ole Miss with Kentucky. I like Ole Miss to cover that spread. We got Oklahoma State versus Kent State. I like Kent State to just win straight up. I couldn't gauge it where I can see if they could cover or not cover. So I'm like, I like them straight up. So if you did that for like a two-unit type play. BYU, I like them for the upset after Baylor having that crazy thunderous game against against coach prime team colorado last week i think they're still going to just be at zombie mode and get whooped on again wisconsin versus usc i went back and forth 50 50 11 times because usc Finally, they're in the Big Ten now. You finally play the Big Ten team who you supposed to whoop on, and you realize them big boys can run that ball. It's different when you ain't all the way over there on West Coast and all that, just passing, passing. No. We got big corn-fed kids over here that will run that ball and push your players down. Now, Wisconsin, they're as corn-fed as they come. <laughs> so, you know, Wisconsin's not a good team. That's why the spread is, you know, 14 and a half. But, I, I just I just got to rock with my original Big Ten team, see if they can cover. We got Louisville versus Notre Dame. I like the under. I couldn't fully pick who I wanted to win. And my heart for my mentor, he's, he's a big Notre Dame fan, and he's always rooting for Michigan. So I'm rooting for Notre Dame. But I did live in Louisville for a second, so hopefully it's a good game. But with my analysis and looking at it, I think it's going to be low scoring. Next, we got Oklahoma versus Auburn. I like Auburn to just win straight up with that game. We got Stanford versus Clemson. I like the over, both of them scoring. I like Iowa versus Houston, the under low scoring game. Ohio State over 36 points. They've been dropping 50 and zillion points on every team. Michigan State, not necessarily a terrible team, but not a good team. They let other te- um, teams put up points on them. So Ohio State might run a while. Hope they um, lose, to be honest. You know, I love to lose my money on this one for uh, um for Michigan State to pull it upset. That would be beautiful. We have Illinois versus Penn State. This game, 17 and a half. Illinois, I believe, is undefeated. 
They played some decent teams, nothing crazy. But they did. I oh, see, I will have to pull up their schedule. But Illinois is basically the real deal, in my opinion. 17 and a half is too much. I know it's in Penn State. It's going to be wide out. It's going to be crazy. That's a game that I would definitely love to, to watch. So I will be peeping that game out tomorrow because that's going to be just wide out. All Penn, I can't wait to go to Penn State and watch a Penn State game. So we need Penn State and Michigan and Penn State, and I will go to that game soon. Let's go. We got Georgia and Alabama. Originally, my gut was Georgia. Then I flip-flopped and went over to Alabama. The reason I switched to Alabama is because Georgia had that game where they barely won. Was that Kentucky? And I didn't plan to break everything down, and I didn't want to have a million tabs of going through all of that. But I believe it was Kentucky or whatever team. Well, they barely, barely, barely won. And it's like, I don't know if they they as good as Alabama. Now, it's like Alabama don't have, you know, um, the GOAT coach. But, you know, coin flip, but I have Alabama at home. So mainly the home team. Whoever on this one, whoever's at home, you know, can't trust, trust Georgia away since they couldn't beat a bum team outright or cover the spread. Next, we got South Alabama versus LSU. This is an interesting one. If you look at South Alabama, they have a very high-scoring team. Like, who the hell is on a team? LSU, we'll see. Shit, never know. Upset alert. That'd be interesting. That'd be some good odds. Probably plus 800 right there. But we're not going to go that crazy. We're just going to go with them to cover the spread. Washington State versus Bo- Boise State. I like Washington State covering the spread. You Arizona versus Utah. Utah look amazing. I believe they are four and zero or three and zero. Bitch, did I get you? Three and zero or four and zero, and they are just looking very good. And I like them to cover the spread with this one. And the last one we got Oregon versus UCLA. I wanted to take Oregon spread, but Oregon spread is like forty or something crazy. Versus UCLA is like. Even if y'all get blown out, y'all got to, like, try to score, try to get a big run. So this is like Oregon is going to score so many points, I just need them to hold their own. Just two touchdowns and a field goal. Hopefully they can get that done. If not, it's going to be tough. All right. What I end up doing was to track all of these because I want to, I ain't do real bets on them. Track them all. I just did a round robin, 16, 17s, $4.61 parlay. And if all this hit, we're going to be close to a millionaire. (laughs) Imagine that. My read's that good. Boy, oh boy. That'd be a wild one. All right. So we have our unit plays, seven unit plays. For those that's new, that's basically... You're serious money on this. So if you're a $100 unit better, you're betting 100 on this. If you're a $10 unit better, you're betting 10 on these. Minus 112, Bio Manor Price. Owens and Ale Manor, plus 104. Plus 103, RJ Harvey and Trayvon Henderson. Dante Duel, we're going under 77.7. Rushing yards. Next one, add a little bit more juice to it. At three to them, we got Card Hoover and a Jackson plus one ninety six. Travis Hunter, Daniels and Luke plus two forty six. Next up to seventy, we have Tyson Lawton. We got Hunter and we have Adams. Plus 270 right there. So these are serious bets. So for the people, somebody asked me on Twitter, it's like, man, you have so many bets. What I'm supposed to do? Only bet on these. That's it. Parlay the ones you like if you want to parlay them. That's it. Just only bet on those. You'll win more money than you'll lose. Draw the season with me if you just did that. But you want the crazy stuff, you got to put in the extra plays. Here go a boost. Boost, baby. Boost. Please give us a historic game. Georgia versus Alabama with that 50% boost. Plus 
15 thou wow and dollars get 10 thousand or however much it gets you um yeah i like all of this i broke down the game each player this is what i like and this is what i came up with and the kicker the reason why the odds are so high is because we're trying to hook mill row see i'm about to show y'all something right Me um mill row we need 175 yards so we need over 175 but under 201 that's why the odds get so high now i'm about to show y'all something why did I even do a pick like that, right? Mail road. Show y'all a little bit where a player mind be at. Stop that. Now let's look at his yards. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this. Last five games. Over 175. But under 201. Bam. Didn't cover. Over 10 um over 175. But under 201. Over 175. I don't know what is his thing that can't get over 200 yards, but this is hilarious. So this is amazing play to boost those odds. Hell, you can just do a parlay with just that and this. And it'd probably be plus 2,000. I don't know. So, you know, if you're crazy, you're crazy. Don't do not too much on it. More crazy stuff, because that's why I am. 50%? Each legs is not that hard, right? Love all of these. Bunch of outlier research. Shout out to y'all. Since I don't watch most of these, I just go by the research. When it come down to college, unless it's teams that I know. 16 legs, lot of legs, lots of legs. But, you know, no risk, no reward. That's where I'm at with it. That's what we got the serious plays for. Next, they gave us another Georgia and Alabama. Now, do we got to take Milro without the under, just in case you go crazy. You go crazy, we're going to still win. Next, right here. TD Price over Johnson. 10 to get you 103. Right here, I took all the spreads that you guys seen on that first play of every team I like. All the spreads on one slip right here because you know we ain't gonna probably hit all of them. But you might hit a variation of some. $10 boost, get us 1300 all my straight up teams to just win that I had. 25 get you 317. <clears throat> no sweat. And this is on Caesars. Under. Over. Under. Over. So these like the teams that was on that slip. Over unders. And I just added some stuff to it. $5 play. Get you 284. And if we go to the last crazy one, the last crazy one, that's what we need, y'all. <laughs> that's what we need. <laughs> um, what was that? What I was about to say? I forgot. I forgot. See, that's how y'all know I'm sleepy. Yolo plays. Yolo. So with these plays. Don't throw too much crazy money on it. First touchdowns. See who we got right here. Five legs. 25 cents each. 375. Bam. 10. Get you 86, hundo. It's reasons why I picked these. So don't think I'm just picking players. All of these have a reason why they are on these slips. But we don't get time to be explaining all that stuff. Let's just make money. 15 cents all the way down. Dollar sixty, ten get you ninety seven hundo. Two touchdown players. Go ahead and do it. Twenty five cents, fifty cent at fours, five or two fifty 
with the ten dollars get you is at thirty two thousand that's crazy love it this one i just seen just pick some teams that can possibly upset possibly upset so we got eight teams possibly upset and well we need at least five of them to do it five of them do it we in the money six of them do it we going crazy and if all of them do it we are a hundred thousand there more anytime touchdowns eight players nine cents starting at four we need four of them to do it 15 to get you 29 hundo <clears throat> and we got a wild one jason dart 350 so to show y'all a little bit how I, I like stuff like this y'all wonder why i'm like so good at different type of bets you really have to just do numbers and stay up to four in the morning even though you got the shit to do tomorrow got to do nfl plays and research and all that type of stuff but look at this last five games y'all 379 like this is last year homie you came back on vengeous consistent as hell him and mail were like this consistent as hell it's crazy i love it so it's a bunch of play players like that travis hunter we know what travis hunter been doing y'all y'all know what's been going on and we did nine cents starting at twos all the way down 96 cent parlay six dollars gets you 37 thou wow so ladies and gents players and temp players and pimps i'm tired as hell i need to go to sleep and by the time i wake up games will probably already been started but we will be okay so let's win some money become a patreon member it's only 25 dollars a month if you guys want to get some merch go get it on topsportsmerch.com see you guys in the community chat let's go